What's going on guys? My name's Justin Melson with Happy Fox Productions. And before I even start this video, I just want to say they just dropped that Justice League trailer. And you guys, I'm not going to even say anything. Just go check it out. Anyways, on with this video. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on my short film in Gore Road. Those of you guys who don't know, this is a film that I've been working on for about a year now. It's a military short film about military deployment and uh, how it affects families in the military. And there's a whole premise of the film that I won't necessarily go into at the moment, but we are launching a crowdfunding campaign for that film in a couple weeks, and we've been doing a lot of work. And I just kind of want to give you guys a quick update on what's been going on with the film, just so you guys can stay in the loop, stay excited, and, you know, it's going to be a big project. I want to get you guys involved. So first and foremost, script revision. Oh. Script revisions have been going on for a while, for months now. And like I said in the previous videos, this is like a seven minute short film and we've been tearing this thing apart. Um, other than that, we've been doing a lot of things. We've been securing locations. We are about to get in the process of casting all the additional roles. We already have our lead actor cast. He's been cast for almost a year now. And uh, we're locking our composers, our sound designers and mixers. And uh, we already locked a, a cinematographer. He's a, he's a guy, really cool guy from LA who's working on the film. And uh, we have a lot of things that are going on. And um, I just wanted to give you guys a little update because I haven't released a video in a minute. And so I'm like, you know, I should probably release a video. Reason being is because me personally just get busy. Like I've been to back and forth from Los Angeles like three times in the last month. So I've been out of town for like a week and a half and I'm going to Miami and it's just like I'm going all over the place. So it kind of gets difficult for me to keep producing these videos on top of my regular freelance work and on top of this film. And I'm like, okay, there's a lot to do. But I want to keep you guys in the loop because this is a big film and I want to get you guys involved as much as possible. So for those of you guys who've been watching this channel for a while, Happy Fox Productions, whether you know the Gatsby short films or the Hotspot short film or all the little skits or the clone action videos or whatever you've watched from this channel, this film is your chance to get involved. And the way you can do that is, like I said, we're doing a crowdfunding campaign and we're not necessarily looking like, we just want your money. Like, I mean, of course your support is greatly appreciated, but we, I wanna get you guys involved in terms of you guys you guys are an audience and you guys are a, a community of people that watch Happy Fox Productions and I want to get you guys involved in making this film in different ways, whether it's getting your name in the credits or donating or suggesting ideas. So we're, I mean, we're going to have a lot of cool stuff uh, as rewards for the film and everything, but I don't know, I'm just really excited. I just want to like talk a little bit about it because it's like, it's a really big project that we've been doing and um, I don't want to say too much because so much is still up in the air. And we've, it's one of those things where we've been doing so much prep and the film isn't even like, we aren't even in legit pre-production yet. We've been doing pre-pre-production to make this film. So for example, we've been, um, myself and my team, we've been going around and interviewing military veterans, uh, a lot of military personnel, and we're making a documentary just to help us make this film. So we're trying to make this five to seven minute short film and we are making a documentary just for ourselves to make the film. That is how serious this topic is because, you know, besides the fact it's on military deployment, it's on, you know, fatalities in the military when someone's KIA or how the family reacts to that. And um, that's a very, very serious topic that we can't take lightly. And myself and everyone involved knows that we need to understand the mindset of someone who's been in the military. And it, and we're interviewing everyone from, you know, Air Force to we've done a lot of people in the Marine Corps to the United States Army, uh, whether you're like Army Rangers to just regular artillery men. And um, it's definitely been an eye opening <laughs> progress, definitely, because I didn't know too much about the military before starting this pre-production process. And now it's really interesting. It's really um, it's really liberating to see all of this, all of this unfold and. There's a reason it took over a year to write this thing, and um, it's definitely one of those films that's like, I'm going to make it to the end. Like, let's say if we were to launch our crowdfunding campaign and we do horrendous, like, let's say we make like $500 or less or something, then um, I'm going to executive produce this thing and I'm going to make it because I I believe in every project I do. And um, like all the projects that you guys have ever seen on this channel, I produce them myself. I executive produce them myself when there is a budget. Uh, you know, I, I usually one man band all of them. Like Hotspot, I was like the only crew, literally. The only crew that I had was um, my mom who did sound 
and uh, my coworker Raquel at the time, who didn't know too much about film, she was just an extra hand on set. And then uh, my girlfriend was, of course, a good set assistant, also an occasion when she was able to help. But for the most part, I'm a one man band. I do everything myself, from the writing, directing, t- editing, sound mixing, visual effects, color, mastering, distribution, everything. Like I do it myself. And this is the this film. I'm really excited because I get to collaborate with a really good team of people people that I'm friends with, people that I haven't even met yet in person that are coming in to work on this film. This is my first production where I'm able to kind of delegate certain positions so I can say, okay, I have a cinematographer and I have this and I have a sound person and I have a composer and I have this and this and this. And it's definitely a much higher caliber production. And I'm like, and I'm pretty nervous because I'm a human being. And um, I'm like, man, this is like, I actually have crew members that I get to lead. I get to show my leadership abilities and I get to exemplify certain character traits that I've always picked up on from other directors and things like that and um which is um, which I'm really excited about but at the same time you know it kind of it's one of those things where like I said this is always about growth and you guys are going to see it happen firsthand that's one of the things you get when you support the film but also it's one of those things that like even if you don't support the film and you just watch this channel you're gonna see it happen like if if I crash and burn on my face you guys are gonna see it if I make something that's somehow good you never know you guys are gonna see it happen and um um that's what this is about just growth so I've all I always try to make each project bigger than the other because I feel like that's just how life should be just always keep aspiring to do bigger and greater things whether it's in your relationships or your filmmaking or your job or your passions or whatever it's like you don't want to just flatline everything you always want to keep going up and it there's nothing wrong with going down too that's just how life is but you know I always aspire to keep creating bigger projects and um This is, for me, the biggest project I've done. And there's, you know, like I said, we're going to have like pyrotechnics and things like that. And uh, it's all about collaboration. And that's where you guys come in. You guys are going to get involved. And like I mentioned before, we're throwing a crowdfunding campaign for this, which we could really use your support. And I'm not trying to like sit here and ask for your money, but even just sharing it online, anything like that helps. It's, you know, for me personally, I've come from a childhood where a good amount of the time we didn't have any money. Like we'd be lit, we'd be literally, um, we got like foreclosed on, evicted. We'd be eating out of a peanut butter jar, and um, living off of like twenty five cents a day, and going from that to um, making a short film with like a twenty thousand dollar budget is like it's a huge contrast. And for me, I know personally, I definitely know the value of a dollar, just especially growing up, and. Um, that's why, like, even if you only have a dollar to give, like, I, I completely understand, like, a dollar, you got to work for a dollar. And if somebody's able to donate a dollar, like, God bless you, man, because, <laughs> uh, you know, that means a lot. And, um, you know, and it's not necessarily donating to me, and it's not just donating to a film and a project. It's about donating to this cause. It's a military short film. It's about veterans and military personnel and their family members. And uh, dealing with the loss of a loved one. So, for example, if you've lost someone, I, I, sh- I know so many people that have stories where uh, they like they lose a grandfather, they lose their dad. And for example, I had a friend who said, you know, he lost his dad. His dad died, and his dad said, "Hey, if anything happens after I die, that's just no, that's just me looking after you." And whether it's coincidence or it's just fate or whatever. Uh, He said a lot of weird things happened like a week after his dad died. He said he knows within his gut like that's his dad looking after him. And that's what this film's about. Uh, The military aspect is kind of the the catalyst that we're using to prove our message. But that is what the overall film and ideology of the film is about is when you lose someone, they're not really there. I mean, you don't really lose them. They're still there looking after you. And if you believe that in any kind of way, then you could definitely help us out by trying to get this message out there. But um. Like I said, it's all about just making films. We're filmmakers. We support each other. I'm not the biggest fan of when filmmakers are like, oh, I don't want to work on your set because I want to make my thing. Like, we're all trying to, we all want to, we all aspire to do different things. If you want to be the next Nolan, then I'm with, I'm there with you because I want to be the next Justin Melson. <laughs> but, uh, you know, everybody has different goals and we're, that's just the way this world should be. It's just lift each other up and support each other. And, um, you know, if you definitely want to support this project, we really appreciate it, and I feel like it's advantageous to everyone because for you guys, whether you're filmmakers, you know, you're going to learn a lot. You're going to learn my mistakes and my the good things and the bad things that happen. If I, if I crash and burn, you're going to see it. If I make something that's somewhat good, you're going to see it. Even if you're not a filmmaker and you just stumbled upon this channel because who knows how, 
uh, you're going to see it all happen too. And, um, you know, that's kind of how life is. You don't know. It's a journey. And that's kind of what this film is. And that's kind of what this filmmaking process is about. And that's why I want to get you guys involved because this is definitely something that's going to be for the books. And uh, this film is definitely one of a kind. So I guess that's it. I got really deep on you guys for a second. I don't know why, but uh, <laughs> I don't really do these vlogs too often. But um, yeah, just, you know, we're making this film and Gore Road. It's coming out, not coming out, but we're launching our campaign in a few weeks. And you're gonna be see some you're gonna be seeing some videos up until then about the film. We're still gonna be doing After Effects tutorials and like short film tutorials and things like that. But um, you know, like I said, life gets busy and I'm gonna be traveling back and forth and I'm kind of a one man band with this channel. So once I'm busy, the channel's kind of busy. But uh, you know, that's the goal. Hopefully Happy Fox Productions grows into something bigger one day, but we'll see. We'll see. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Justin Nelson with Happy Fox Productions. Feel free to check me out on social media if you'd like. All that's in the, in the description. Stay tuned for Angora Road. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.